Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Fundas Global. This is the eighth video in this MS PowerPoint course. And in this video, we are going to tell you about how you can use transitions in your PowerPoint slides. Well, guys, first you have to understand that what is transitions. So in order to understand that what is transitions, let's go into our MS PowerPoint software. So let's get into the video. So guys, as you can see, we are into our PowerPoint software. This is MS PowerPoint 2019 version. Okay. And now let's just understand what is transition. So here is the transition option. And these are basically a visual effect between two slides. So if you want to add any kind of visual effect between these two slides, you have to use this transition options. Let me show you how you can do this. You just have to click on this and here are the transitions which you can use okay let me show you and if i click on this you will be able to see more transitions over here okay so there are a lot of transitions which you can use as you can see here these all are transitions now let me use once on this particular slide let me use a push one so this is the push effect okay and if i use any other transition in this second slide let me use one more curtain effect okay let me do this let me add curtain effect on the first one which will look a bit more nice as like this okay and if i click on preview it will show me a preview as well and if i click on this one this will uh, start a proper slideshow from the very beginning and there's one shortcut as well if you click f5 that also works the same it will start the slideshow proper slideshow from the beginning okay so i have added a transition in this one and this one as you can see this star denotes that you have added any kind of special effect whether that is transition or animation also let me tell you one thing that i'm gonna create one more video on animations in the next video so you will be learning each and everything about animations in the next video for now i'll be stick with transitions so I have added transitions in this one and this one and now let's add one more transition in the third slide. Uh, let's choose a bit more exotic like like this one honeycomb. Okay. This is not that much classy but yeah for now it's okay. Now let me tell you about these timings options as well. So you can add sound in your slides if you want to add. Let me add, let me show you that how you can add. Let's add drum roll. And if I click on preview. Okay, I think this drum roll should be added in the first slide because I have added a curtain effect in that particular uh, slide. So I have added, I'll show you after a bit that how it is, how the curtain at the sound effect is looking and sounding okay then there's one more after the sound we have duration so if you want to increase or decrease the duration of a particular effect you can do with this option okay and if you click on this apply to all that particular timing and the sound will be applied to all your slides then we have advanced slide option in advanced slide option we have one on mouse click so basically if you check this uh, checkbox then your slide will not change until you press the buttons of your mouse whether it is right or left you have to press any button and then your slide will be changed then we have one more timing option over here so if you want to change your slide after a certain number or after after a certain seconds or a minute you can do with this option you just have to check this box and then you have to add the time for example you want to add like you want your slides to be changed after three seconds it is seconds right okay so after three seconds your slide will be changed i think it's 30 seconds it's seconds then minutes then hour so this is the time frame so after 30 seconds your slides will be changed one by one okay so let me add for three seconds only okay it's zero three after adding let me play now one two three and your slide is changed now so that's how it is working let me press escape button then we have uh, the timing option over here so if you want your slide to be changed after a certain 
uh, time frame let's say you want to change your slides every slide after three seconds and you have to check this option and after checking this option this time will be applied to all your slides so let me show you once now one two and three and your slide is changed now okay so that's how your slide will be changed one by one let me press escape and you if you want to change the timing you can do with this option this is the second then minute then hour okay now let me continue with my slides let me add one more yeah this looks fine then add random bars okay then in the sixth one let me go with this airplane effect then we have we can use this origami option as well and in the eighth one we can use this wind effect yeah looks nice and yeah you can say few designs are a bit cheesy but yes you can use it that is totally according to your taste and depends on for what you are uh, creating this presentation right you can and at the end in the thank you page we are using this follower yeah okay so I have added transitions in all the slides now let's take a preview from the very beginning okay if you want to take preview for any particular slide then you have to click on this button let's say I have selected this fourth slide and I want to take the preview of this fourth slide I have to click on this and it will show me the preview of this particular slide but from the if I want to take the preview from the very beginning then I have to click on this.